Hello, welcome. Today I'm looking at Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. So this came out a couple of years back, right bang in the middle of my Gloomhaven, the original Gloomhaven playthrough. So why am I looking at this now? So I am considering upgrading to Frosthaven. So Frosthaven, you know, it's, it's hitting people's tables now and it's available, we can get it. And I'm jealous. So what I'm doing is, when I remember playing Gloomhaven, the big thing I remember was the commitment. Big commitment to get through all of those scenarios. Played it for a long, long time, at least a year, to play through everything. And I'm in two minds as to whether or not I'm going to re-up and go for Frosthaven. So my method for doing that is, let's play a few games of uh, Jaws of the Lion, which is a much smaller campaign, actually in a much bigger box than I thought. So I'm going to play through some of this. And then if it whets my appetite enough, that will be my marker as to whether or not I'll get into Frosthaven. So first things first, when I look at the box, um, the first thing I like is if anyone, a few companies do it. I think one of the last games I got for it was the original Nemesis game. But you'll see that the... The box, when it's full like this, juts out a bit. And that's that's a good marker for me because it means that they have anticipated the width of all of the punch boards that are in there. So as when this goes back into, when it's being closed up, when everything's punched and all that kind of thing, it's going to fit nice and snug. So, Jaws of the Lion. So basically... From what I am aware, and I haven't looked into this, considering I put so much time into the original Gloomhaven, I actually know very, very little about this box at all. But I can see we've got our four kind of heroes in here. The box includes two scenario books, 25 scenarios. So that's about a quarter of Gloomhaven. Then is your play guide and rule book. Four playable minis, each with their own decks and character sheets. 16 unique monsters with standees and all that sort of stuff, a city map with stickers, a bunch of event cards, a bunch of tokens, 100 plus tokens. Hmm, I was, wasn't expecting that many. What I know of this is that it's a very slimmed down version of Gloomhaven, but what that consists of, I'm not really sure. Um, one to four players, 30 minutes a player, age 14 and up. Okay, so let's bust into this and have a look. This is some tough old cellophane. Honestly, that's a good thing. Okay. And like I say, this is, this is quite, quite a chunky box. So it's chunkier than I was expecting it to be. Um, so let's have a quick comparison. Um, da, 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 da. Destiny's by Lucky Duck, uh, Lucky Duck Games. There you go. Significantly bigger. So not huge, but you know, I would class it as being fairly big. Right. What have we got in here? Jaws of the Lion audio narration, fully voice acted. Okay, it's interesting. Oh. Right, okay. And an advert for removable sticker sets and maps. Okay, that's interesting. Welcome to Gloomhaven. Stop, read this before you do anything else. There are more components in this game box than you may be used to. And it's important to make sure they're organized before you start and to play the game. This sheet will give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to easily organize your game and where to go from there so you can start playing as fast as possible. This is good. I like this a lot because uh, I believe there was a version of it in the original Gloomhaven, but it left a little bit to be desired. This is very good. I like what they're doing here. Below this sheet, uh, in the box are four booklets as well as a map board of the city and a sheet of stickers. 
can set all of those aside for now. Six punch boards full of tokens and monster standees. Take these out of the game box, find us and find all the zip bags, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we can move ahead. All right, plastic tray to keep some of these tokens in. Great, okay. Gloomhaven, a hole in the wall. Right, cool. Very cool comic. Uh, it's not a massive comic by any stretch. So it kind of, yeah, it sets up a story to be continued in Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. Nice advert for Frosthaven. Cool, that's a nice touch. Okay, learn to play guide. Fairly chunky. Um, oh, sorry, two books there. The learn to play guide is 20, 32 pages. This is all looking very fa uh, familiar, to be fair. A glossary. I like that a lot. That's very good. Um, b -b -b right, okay. Supplemental scenario book. This is very small. 17 pages. Um, that goes with this larger scenario book. Be good to... Hmm. Um, this punch boards, right? Okay. There's a map. There's stickers. I like the little, the little map. That's cool. Stickers to go with it. But I'm looking for something else. Right. Lots and lots of bits here. There's no map tiles. <clears throat> so we're playing directly onto the scenario book. And that is cool. That's, that solves a massive problem with Gloomhaven. Um, the daunting part of, you know, original Gloomhaven is, is all of the setup. This is brilliant. Everything you need for the scenario and the map automatically on there. That, that is, that's perfect for getting getting back into it or look if you've never played um gloomhaven before maybe you're thinking of getting to frosthaven but you've heard about the setup and all that sort of stuff but you're interested in knowing if you're going to enjoy the core game excellent place to start here so this is a supplement yeah so the supplemental one adds on to what we've already got so these are kind of map extensions of other scenarios so that's really cool. Right, all of this stuff looks very familiar. All of our tokens, uh, these are all, everything I can see here is from original Gloomhaven. And everything relates to our glossary as well. So going through this, uh, these are all damage tokens. This is money tokens. These are traps. More traps. All of these individual little square ones are our condition tokens, so things that affect us in the game. More traps, treasure tiles. These are for our, um, uh, the, these are our element tokens. We should have an element table in here as well. These are all our enemies. Cool, some of the bosses there as well. All right, okay, that's our, um, that's our element board. Um, more enemies, more enemies. These are all our initiative order tokens and activation tokens. These are destruction tiles. Right, okay, and then we're on to the next phase. So all of our tokens are now, they all go into, into here. 
so that's cool. But what else have we got? These are our dials for playing, so these these will um, track our damage and all that sort of thing to our characters. Bunch of baggies to put our enemies into. This is the city, this is all of our event cards. Got our battle goal cards in here. These are all our attack modifier cards for battle. And then these are all our um, item cards. So cool, look, it, look, it's just Gloomhaven really. It's, it's um, but just a really slimmed down version of it. And this is exactly what Gloomhaven needed. For anyone who was a bit daunted by you know, getting into the game and that kind of stuff. This is exactly what it needed. <clears throat> these are all of the individual cards for our enemies. Um, these are their individual um, enemy, what's the word? Like the monster stat cards. So you've got Giant Viper there. This will fit into... Should be some envelopes first. Oh yeah, sorry, here they are. These will fit into these envelopes. And so you can uh, kind of track their stats as you're going through the battle and that kind of stuff. That is very cool. Um, some nice little dividers to go with these cards, which is good. And then we've got our four boxes for our heroes. Everything we need for our heroes. I am gonna open Look, if anyone, we've got some sealed boxes here, right? These are miniatures for our um, for our characters. <clears throat> so four are unsealed and four are sealed. Now, funnily enough, um, we, we know we've only got four characters in this game, so I don't know what the other four are for. And I'm not going to spoil it for myself, but what I will do is I will open one of these boxes to show us the miniature, because I'm interested to see the miniature. Um, the miniatures from the original Gloomhaven, I wasn't all that impressed with. So let's see if between then and this coming out, they improved. So what do we have here? It's packed with stuff. So what do we have? Have a few tokens. Valrath Redguard. So this is his character sheet. Uh, you'll track your game throughout this. Keep your notes, your gold, any items you've got. This is his uh, his deck modifier. These are personal items to him. Um, duh, 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 duh. This says halt. Do not open this pack of cards until the character has reached level five. So I won't look through that. And then we've got another deck. That's a player reference. And then he's got a kind of board here giving us information about him. I don't believe this was in the original Gloomhaven. Um, but that's good. So let's have a look at the min the corresponding miniature. Red Guard. To see if this is uh, improved somewhat. Oh, yeah, these have come on a long way since their uh, original Gloomhaven, to be fair. Um, my lighting here is pretty poor, but what I'll do is I will take some photos and they'll, they'll pop up on screen now. But certainly, these are a vast improvement. Excellent stuff. So I, I have to say I'm pretty excited. And I think I, <laughs> without playing it, it's kind of telling me that I should probably consider... Frosthaven, but I won't do that. What I'll do is I will go back, I'll play a bunch of the scenarios, and I'll come back and I'll do a review and I'll let I'll let you know what I think of it. And so again, the position I'm coming from is I played original Gloomhaven, dedicated an enormous amount of time and effort into it. Um this is my kind of taster for if I'm gonna come back to the world and potentially go for Frosthaven next. So 
it's looking good so far. I'll certainly do a, a further follow up and a review and I'll let you know where I am with it. You know, maybe maybe I won't be, you know, overblown by it. And, you know, I'll, I'll perhaps put this world out of my mind. Um, but either way, I'll come back to you very soon and give you an update. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Much appreciated. Thanks for listening to me ramble on and I'll be back very soon. See you later.